Hey guys, welcome back to pba to z Some time back, I have shown you how to use Hex Editor to hack into uh, Excel PBA project password. Okay, uh, so this is kind of a continuation or uh, some of the issues you might face when you're trying to uh, experiment uh, following these steps. You know, using the Hex Editor. Okay, um, particularly doing this because some of our friends have sent a similar question that. Uh, they are not able to share the workbook on unshare it uh, which is part of uh, removing or hacking the password so or like the hack okay so they're saying that uh, we are um, our friend Ryan here is saying that uh, uh, they are not able to unshare because it has uh, some excel tables and excel uh, XML maps uh, in it so I have a similar one that was sent by Brian uh, and I'm gonna show you a live example of how to handle this kind of issue okay so this is the file that Brian have sent and then um, so uh, before you know you open someone's code that you're not sure of uh, maybe it's best uh, just to turn off the you know events so I'll just write uh, application dot enable events go to false so that if there's any script that are running as soon as the workbook opens you can you know handle that so I'm just running it or you can entirely um, uh, disable the macro as well if you want okay so now what I'm gonna show you is like it's locked to the project is locked okay and now when I go to review ta uh, ribbon tab and click on share you get a similar error that it contains the uh, excel tables and excel maps so how do you handle this is uh, first is to uh, unhide all the sheets and you know just because you just need the you just need the code so you just get rid of all the tabs that has some of the XML or you know uh, tables which are preventing from sharing or unsharing the workbook so uh, let me go ahead and just write a small code to unhide all this all the tabs okay unhide all tabs or sheets okay dim let's say that as worksheet and then for each stage sheet in active workbook dot worksheets okay and then dot visible is equal to visible so if I run this right now on by selecting this workbook it will unhide all the tabs okay so I'm going back you can see there are so many tabs here now so I'm just gonna go to the extreme corner one and just add a new tab there in the end now I'll select the f this last tab go you know to the first tab press shift and then I'll select all the tabs together just delete them okay so I've deleted all of them now so if you click here you'll be able to share and unshare the workbook now so let's try this so uh, it's enabled now uh, earlier it was not enabled so I just clear off all the tabs that has some uh, something to do with this so let me just save this workbook for now and then I'm gonna close this okay so as you can see there are some events running there somehow I don't know so let me fire my hex editor oh no sorry uh, first off we need to we need to save this as XLS file. So I'll save it as XLS file. And then I'll save it and close it. And then I'll go to my hex editor, control O open, select the file, control F search for DPV, click on OK replace or just re uh, you know replace b with x save the file and then close the file now i'm gonna reopen this file log.xls if you get this error that that means it's good just click on yes and then okay so if you try to go into the workbook you still can't go into the project though the password is gone you can you can still go inside it so to to remove this uh, you just need to go to review tab share the workbook okay and just click on ok now let me just save this and then unshare the workbook once more 
okay once you're done that you should be able to go into the project and see the code just like that okay so i hope you found this informative um uh, we have uh, lots of videos coming up so please subscribe and you know like our video and help us support us we also have a facebook page called facebook uh, slash uh, vba to z so you know you can also follow us there and but the best thing to get your answer is to go to the discussion tab and post your question here and i'll try to come back to you as soon as possible for any of your emergencies and some of the questions that you like to be answered so um you know once again thank you and that's all for today thank you for watching bye bye